Welcome to Transport Fever 2. I am so excited to bring this game to the channel, and I'm so excited for Transport Fever 2. Transport Fever 1 was probably one of my more favorite games that I played um, in my spare time, and I'm so excited for the opportunity to finally de uh, dive into Transport Fever 2. Um, so, my name is Bean, um, and I am super excited to be here. Um, I just started a YouTube channel about uh, about a month ago, and the other games that I play will get some uh, normal stuff going here. The other games I play on my channel is Planet Zoo and American Truck Simulator, and this is going to be the third game um, that comes to the channel um, as we play Transport Fever 2. Um, so again, I played Transport Fever One. Um, some things have changed um, in the two champ er, in the two. Um, so we're exploring those. Um, so one of the things I wanted to try is I wanted to do a um, tropical map. One of the reasons is because I didn't mess around with boats a whole lot in Transport Fever One, and I wanted to do that a little bit more. So like a boat connection here in Stockton in the mainland and maybe Seattle and Houston or something along those lines. Um, but we're starting here in Columbia um, City is where we're starting. So far I just loaded up the game, kind of explored some of the options, tried to uh, just get a basic grip. All I've done so far is I've built this road, this big road going out here, and I've connected this Columbia farm to this food processing plant. And that's it, and set up, um, let's scroll down in here, so, uh, put some wagons on it. Um, we're in 1910, um, don't have a whole lot of uh, electrical vehicles yet, so we're trying to get a train lane established. And that's where we're going to pick up here with you guys. Um, so my thinking, the one of the things I love about uh, this game is you can come in here and configure the station however you want. Um, so my thinking in designing this station to just jump right down into it so you're gonna have three passenger lines that come in here um, and this is kind of what I was uh, when I was planning um, we're gonna have the main line kind of come down here to Clarksville and uh, come in here to Madison uh, maybe San Diego and then it goes up to like Cincinnati and Vancouver with maybe another line going out here to Lancaster Costa Mesa and not sure where else but Columbia is gonna be my capital um, and then two additional just kind of like through main lines and then you have so far one cargo platform here so this is gonna be a pretty big cargo hub for me too and that is where we are sitting so far so I put in a bus depot here and uh, now we're I was working on configuring this um, this train station here so I'm not quite sure how many lines I'm gonna have here can I put in a cargo building no it has to be off a platform okay so we might just put one two three and then I'm gonna go a pretty large main cargo building. This is oh, um, this is gonna be my main hub. So we'll put that there, and then we'll go into here some streets, and we'll draw that like that. And then go back over here to tracks. Let's get out of that station. So these are going to be the main lines. Um, one of the things I like to keep it somewhat classical here. Um, so on no electric lines, it just doesn't feel right to me. We're going to delete that there for us. Let's see. I'm actually going to come in here, adjust some audio. I think I'm going to turn you down. Maybe that's a little quieter in, in, in our ears here. And then bring this main line out. Um, so if you've never played Transport Fever 2, um, 
I would say it's very similar to, I, I would compare it a lot to City Skylines in the fact of it, um, what the heck was that? Is that you are basically building a, the transport network around the towns. The towns auto populate, um, and you are just building the transport ne network instead of placing the buildings. Um, that's basically all you are doing is just building those transport lines. So, let's see. We're going to have you come in like that. And then you off there. And I think I'm going to have you come in like that. And then we'll have a crossover. Just like that. And then some signals. So you're going to come in there, there, you're going to stay going that way, that way. So this would be like your main train line. Um, yeah, we'll go with that so far. And then on the other side, do basically the same thing with you. Like that. I hit it about 50. And I know there might be a little bit of crunching as like multiple trains. But uh, I think that looks good. And then we'll signal you. Coming in, coming in. And then this guy going out, coming in. And then boom, and boom. Okay. So we got this main train station kind of set up here. So my thought is, is again, because this is going down, hey, let's keep it going like this. So because from Columbia, we're going to head down to Clarksville with the main, kind of come through here, maybe pick up some wood. Um, and then we're going to have a spur. So let's have this come down and we'll snap it there straight, straight we're heading off to there so and have you kind of come over and our goal is to so these numbers that are popping up here is the highest speed that that track can handle is what you're seeing there um, for those who've never played and uh, I am gonna play on uh, unlimited money just because I'd like to we're gonna keep this going here though um, Let's see. I think we'll go just like that. And I think we will have. So, this is just the main line um, that's going to come through here. One thing about my style um, that I think you might notice, well, especially like with this road that I've done, um, in real life, you don't have these squiggly lines. I don't believe in squiggly lines. I think they're very messy. Um, I don't think they look realistic. I, uh, I live in Utah, and Utah at least, when it's not going up and down a hill, um, it's very much straight lines. So that is what we're going to keep to, is these straighter lines. Let's see. I think... Go out and around. Actually, we'll put just a little straight section there. And then out and around. And then we'll connect you up here. So we'll delete that road. And connect you. If uh, um, if you guys will comment on the video if that is if like placing things down if that's too loud 
Um, I would love to hear that kind of feedback. Um, first video, uh, technically the second video I've done in a transport series. So I'm interested on that kind of feedback. Okay, and I think we're going to have it come along and go right through here. But not going to worry about that right now because we're going to be more concerned about this Y that we're going to create. Because I want to start getting food um, from the transport over here to start growing Columbia City. So, um, what I think I might do. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want tracks. So it can snap for me. I, I'm not. I'm not a uh, opposed to that. And then and that's for because again these are directional tracks here. Um, so you'd have that guy and this guy over here. Um, to kind of filter that in here and we are going to put one also right there and then one right there so that way it can cross over and head down as of right now we're just going to have this one directional track um, to kind of get things rolling here I do believe it has to bend out a little bit not a significant portion And it can come back down in here. Just like that. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. So this rock quarry is going to be deleted. Just for now. And this guy is going to be deleted too. As we make our way over, so let's keep it snapped. I think up to about right here, and then it's just going to continue straight over to this. And we're going to put in um. Okay, let's pause this because I'm going to have to destroy this to put in a uh, tra station cargo we're gonna get two at 240 no cannery and rotate that because that is gonna be attached right on that guy and that's where this train track is gonna go oops no I want trains tracks this guy switch right here to kind of service both of those and then we need to I think I'm gonna have the road come in actually can I come right off that that'd be ideal so let's keep this going up here. Not sure where that road is going yet. Um, as of right now, I think I'm going to have it just come in. Like that. Again, I'm very... Oops. Um, you'll notice that I will replace in this series. Um, so kind of just some brief things here. So we... I'm just going to get this line established here, transport in the grain, and uh, we're going to hook up this farm to it, this farm will go to it, and this bread will hopefully be distributed to a couple of these different cities here, Lancaster needs it, 
So now that we've got a um, pretty good um, little train network, we're going to go into buildings, train depot, and we're going to rotate that thing, and it is going to go right here. And then got to hook that up with the tracks. Ultimately, I would like to get that in there. Uh, maybe we can. Just so we can access that crossover that I've already built. I think that's okay. Okay, so let's get a new line here. New line. We're going to go from here. Let's see, from the cargo over to here. And we are just going to be. This is one nice feature I really like. So we're going to offload the, the bread there. And we are going to load bread there. Okay, hopefully, actually, line manager. So this is going to be. So one of the. I took this from. I think his name is Conflict Nerd or Dylan, I don't remember. He's got a really great series. If you are like Transport Fever, um, his series highly recommended. But this is how he organizes it. So C is for a cargo truck. Cargo train is CT. Bus is B. Uh, passenger train is PT. On and on. So this is going to be food train well, technically, I would like to name it. Well, I'm going to name it the same thing as that uh, line, a couple lines above it. And there we go. And then we come over here. And we're going to buy some trains. So I think... Okay, so we got, uh, we got a couple here. Let's go... I think we're going to have to transport it in this. Ooh, I did not want all of those. So these can go 80. 75. I think I'm going to go the 10 wheeler. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to buy that. And we're coming here. The train line. And we're going to paint it green. Okay. And there we go. A very green train. And we have our first train, everybody. So, what I can do... So, these guys... Um, we're going to have them come and get food from this Houston one and bring it down to increase food production. So that's so you saw me kind of how I set up the train line. I built the train tracks. I have a, the cargo station here in Columbia and one over there in the Montgomery uh, food processing plant. And then uh, you just hook it up. Already you can see this train line is going to be so much faster I'm just flying by those horses they don't even have anything on them I don't even know if this guy oh he has one okay so now we're gonna come in here we're gonna get a building um, we're not gonna have that we're gonna have it do 20 we're gonna rotate this sucker and put it right in there. So now I'm going to change this one. So right now this is my Columbia food and so I'm going to delete that and we're going to have it go up here to Houston West 
and we're going to configure this a little bit differently. We're going to have it load, no, we're going to have it unload there. And then in here, we are going to have it load, unload, load. And this is going to be green. Oh yeah, we're already going to upgrade these. Get rid of the horses already on our second or on our first episode here. So, I think the way you do that, let's see, I think you go, is it vehicle manager? Click on this guy, we're going to click on all of you, replace selected vehicles, all cargo. Yes, we're gonna, we are going to replace that right there. And that is going to be a red vehicle. And then grain, this guy is going to be the same thing same obnoxious noise and there we go so now we have grain gonna be picked up here and I probably could even get more we have 73 grain yeah I think how many vehicles do we have on this line um, I think it's 10 yeah duplicate and duplicate. So now we have 20 on both of those. And uh, we're going to have to be hauling some serious grain here. And then this guy. Let's see, because now I'm going to need to get a road. I'm going to build a bridge here. I think the way I'm going to do this. So we're going to have it still come out to about here. And then from that point, we're going to go M, 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 M. Have that kind of funky looking thingy. Can I put you in just like that? That looks horrible. Okay. Ooh, that looks bad. There we go. It still doesn't need to be that high, in my opinion. I know some other people would be like, eh, it's just a bridge. Let's see. There we go. Much gentler of a slope. Where is it? Snap. I don't really know. Um, have it come like that. Oh, we needed to bulldoze this road and this road. And then now we can have it connect in and have it connect in. Okay, so now we can put in our... Uh, let's see. So I'm going to finish this up. We'll call this an episode. Um, if you do like what you're seeing here, I am planning on having um, more of these videos um, that uh, will continue to come out. Um, I'm, I plan on ha hitting this pretty hard. I'm super excited for this game. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can hit the ground running with this. So we are going to take the food. So now we're going to buy some vehicles. We're going to get we're going to get 3 of them by set line. Let's see. Oh, I got to come in here. Oh, that's interesting. I got to go from here. 
We're going to drop it off over here. This is going to be Columbia Central. This is going to load the food. And then we're going to unload the food. And then vehicle manager, road, line. Get them in that color. And that is going to be cargo, Columbia. Oh, if I could spell Columbia. Delivery. Del delivery. Okay, so now you can start seeing that this will be having the food dropped off. Um, as this begins to process more food. Let's see if I can uh, manage that. Um, I mean, you shouldn't be waiting here at all. Montgomery Halt. I mean, it's literally just you're unloading the food, okay? So this is the other thing. So you'll see up here we've got a level, um, and we've got production. So as more stuff comes into this, and we ship more of it, um, this will slowly increase over time. Um, and this will be one of my more bigger facilities here. So as the train's coming up here. Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. Um, again, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure through Transport Fever 2. Next episode, hopefully out tomorrow, depending on how um, everything goes. I'm done with school, um, so we'll uh, continue working on it. Anyway, till next time, see you guys.